What's up, everybuds? I got a thumbs up. <laughs> the person in that Jeep was like, yeah! <laughs> That's cool. Anyway, I was going to explain real fast um, about chains, because your chains do not stretch on a motorcycle. They do not physically stretch. That's not what happens. and that's uh, It's something that people use, they throw around, it's just a term sort of makes sense you know like just an easy way to explain what's happening but no your chain is not actually physically stretch and um, I think a lot of people out there know it but I guess the biggest thing I always see people say this in comments and other uh, shits and life and I don't know they say uh, oh yeah I took my old chain and laid it over my new chain and my, my old chain was like way longer it was like three four inches longer and I'm like no it was not if it was, it's because there's more links in there. If your chain were, were to physically stretch, how would it possibly mesh with the uh, the gear on the sprocket? There wouldn't. It would not. It, it would. The, the links, the little metal links between the pins, cannot. We're not going to pull longer. That would just. Yeah, your chain would just just, just fly right the fuck off. What happens? It makes it seem like it's stretching is the um, combination of things. One, the gears themselves, the teeth go from being very thick. Let's say like a tooth is the size of one finger, then it goes down to, or two finger, then it goes to one finger. Well, now the chain can slap back and forth more on there. You know, when, it, when the, when the uh, teeth are the correct thickness, when they're new and they're, um, they're like you want them to be, you know, they're, they're much more like this. And then as they go down, they get like that, which allows it to move back and forth more. The chain, is going to move on that sprocket. And then the other thing that happens is the rollers on your um, on your chain too, the little metal rollers, those will wear down too, so they'll become somewhat smaller, also allowing for more slip and sliding of the entire chain on the sprockets. You move the back tire back to tighten the chain, just to basically put more, to take up some of that slack that's been made in it. It's not the chain becoming longer, it's the little inside pieces of the chain becoming uh, less narrow than they used to be, combined with the, the uh, teeth themselves being, um, you know, narrower than they started out as. So you got the, basically, again, you got the, the sprocket getting smaller and the chain gap getting bigger between, you know, between the rollers. And that together will make the chain stretch and become where you need to pull more tension back on it. You know, an easy thing to do, too, is to, uh, Go onto your back part of your sprocket, the round parts of the piece in the back, grab a section of chain and pull it. If you can see more than like two teeth, you probably are at that point you need to change it. You know, even though you got the tension correct, you'll you shouldn't be able to really pull it back much. You can see much chain on there. And uh Which is another thing too, that's why you, you really need to always replace them as a set. And that, I find that's the cheapest way to buy them anyway. I, I always just buy like a chain sprocket sets when I buy the when I buy them, I try to get a good X ring or uh, you know just just some kind of good O ring chain. They got all sorts of weird ones, not like W rings and fucking blue and orange rings. And maybe they don't have colored rings. I don't know. That'd be cool. I guess you couldn't see the rings, but you kind of could. But, um, but that's why you always replace them as a set. Because yeah, if you have the worn out sprocket and you throw a new chain on there, well that's just going to already have the more banging motion as the chain pops back and forth on it. So, now, now Gons and educated you guys on up and taught you what the chain does on the sprockets. And, uh, now you know. Now we half the battle. G.I. Joe. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Get them all in there. Fucking, this little dinosaurs. It's Jurassic fucking Park in there, man.